what's going on guys welcome back to another episode this one's going to be a fun short episode um it was such a great trip i just went spearfishing with one of my good friends um and former teacher and we were able to hit the water test out his new gun and uh we were able to bring back some food for his family so stay tuned subscribe if you haven't let's get right into it on this drop i spotted an uhu from the surface and i was really really wanting to get one it's been a while since i've been to this spot over here and uh, right now I'm just looking at all these different fish, trying to make myself look as non-threatening as possible. And of course, then the uhu comes out in the distance. It's a pretty nice size one, nice red uhu. And as I creep a little bit closer, um, you can see that school of Leka there. Uh, I start to line up and it spooks a little bit, but it comes right over the edge. I try and get a better hold on this rock, scratch the coral a bit, and he becomes curious, and I shoot him right there in the gut. And you can see scales flying, my spear kind of gets dragged down, um, but he went into that hole and it actually tore off the spear. Sucks, this has happened, and it's been happening a lot more than usual. I've got two more videos in the future, but you know, it's just a part of spear fishing. You can't get every fish you shoot. On this drop, I'm going for a invasive species of Hawaii called the Tawau. There are three different kinds of invasive fish in Hawaii. One is a ta'ape, which is a type of snapper. It's called blue line snapper. Then there's a roy, which is the peacock grouper. And then the toao, which is what I'm looking at right now. The toao is a black tail snapper. And while they don't do as much damage to the reef as roy, they are still uh, a, a problem and should be dealt with. Not to mention, they're really tasty. So right here, he almost goes into that hole. But before he's able to escape, I tag them right there in the spot. So I are called blacktail snapper in English, and because they're a type of snapper, they are mighty fine uh, pan fried. They're pretty good baked, but since they're small size, uh, I usually just will pan fry them instead. Really delicious fish. I ended up giving this one to my dive buddy and old teacher, and so he was able to make a nice meal out of it. Right here, I actually spotted the Roy, which is the invasive grouper in Hawaii and I come over to try and take a shot on one. And right here, like, I don't know how I missed this shot. You know, I slowed it down. I, I tried to figure out how I missed, but I really do not understand um, how that Roy got away. I don't know if I shot him and he tore off quick, but I was lined up, so we'll see. All right, this next clip comes very, very quick. I was just at the bottom, it was my last dive, and boom. Got this nice little two and a half pound, uh, Omilu papio. Uh, this is a very popular eating fish and sought after fish by not only spear fishermen but also fishermen as they put up a great fight. This is arguably also one of the most beautiful reef fish uh, in Hawaii just because of their streamlined predatory uh, anatomy but also this electric blue that they have uh, splotched out between the skin and on their fins. Just such a pretty fish and it matches really really well with their uh, golden hints of coloration through their body. Quickly dispatch this guy. These fish are delicious as well. Um, definitely one of my favorites to shoot. It's important to bleed these fish because uh, they are high in uh, blood concentration. So it's good to just bleed them out um, so that you're not gonna have a lot of blood in your meat. With smaller ones like this, I don't really find it too much of an issue with blood anyway. So even if you don't bleed it, you know, I'm sure the meat is gonna be just as good. These fish are delicious again. And I was super pleased to uh, bring this one back. I gave this one to my dive buddy as well, and he was able to make a meal out of it for his family. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're gonna be having a lot more videos coming pretty soon. I actually got a new roller gun and it's been incredible definitely glad that we're able to switch up um oh right he's like he likes my gopro we're both very glad that we're able to get a new gun um but this whole entire experience has been really fun uh hope to see you on the next adventure make sure to stay tuned and we'll get right into the next video coming up all right little guy say bye